Fenway Park has been home to the Boston Red Sox since it first opened back in 1912. Now, over 100 years later, this beloved park is still standing and serving as inspiration for a local artist. Her motto, have brushes, will travel. A landmark, a symbol of Red Sox nation, and at times, a home run stealer. Though they may have different views, fans and players can all agree. Fenway Park's green monster is iconic. It sounds hokey when you say it, but so many people go in there and they feel like it's magical. Um, and when I was on the road, I would make an effort to visit any ballpark, because I'm really a, a fan of the sport. And so I found that the one thing that set Fenway apart from the rest is the green monster. Who would have thought that a simple left field wall would become the most recognizable in baseball? And now you can have your own green monster right at home. I have what I actually call a monster menu. So the client actually builds it to suit their space and budget. So every element they're actually selecting. Even small markings along the monster or scores from other teams are significant and meaningful and add a personal touch to each mural. I have four kids and so I wanted to add their dates of birth and there was just four, you know, there was able to add four different options. So we added their dates of birth as well as their initials in the Morse code. It was just a amazing to, you know, just so amazing to actually have a piece of Fenway in your own home. MC's custom designs make her work stand apart from the rest. I've become a bit of a perfectionist and a stickler for the details yeah. um, in terms of including so right down to the rivets and yeah. the, the little peepholes that are on the scoreboard, the lettering, that's all done freehand. She painted bedrooms, game rooms, desks, full basements, but that wasn't enough. MC went on a quest to paint a collection of 100 monster murals before the end of the 100th season at Fenway Park. And for me to count it as one of my 100, the scoreboard itself needed to be at least two feet by four feet. She traveled to various states, even painted for former Yankee Bucky Dent, and took over an entire bar. We actually incorporated, given it's an Irish pub, the Irish flag and Stucky Darg, which is Red Sox and Gaelic, an iconic feature that so many people associate, yeah. not only with Boston, but Fenway Park, so that's Half the time here. you can't even see the park, you see the sicko <laughs> sign first. You're like, I know we're getting close. <laughs> Finally, she turned the side of a building into a masterpiece. I wanted my 100th to be uh, an exclamation point to the end of my journey, so to speak, and I wanted it to be in a place that people could enjoy it and that it did feel right in terms of fit. Nothing was more fitting than Jerry Remy's sports bar and grill in Fall River. It's a regional drawer. It's like the stars were aligned. I, think, I guess you could say it was meant to be. The Sox broadcaster and former second baseman even had a hand in the process. It was pretty cool to have him look at it and have the same response, then it kind of felt like, okay. Mm -hmm. I've done my job and I, I think I did a good job. MC finished her work on November 26, 2012. She just missed the end of the season due to weather, but her goal was accomplished. How did you feel upon completion and, and seeing it finished? It was pretty cool, actually. I stepped back and I'm like, wow, I did that. Over 100 murals and counting. It's nice that you can freeze a moment in time on an entire wall. Yes. Forever. And for MC Lamar, her journey is far from over. It's amazing what a little paint will do. MC also creates portable scoreboards and to date has completed over 125 murals in 22 states, Nova Scotia and Washington, D.C. Her next goal, painting a green monster in all 50 states. Now, if you want a part of your home to become a monster or even have a portable mural made, head to the Roadshow page at WPRI.com for a link to MC's website. And you can see the real green monster tonight when you watch the Red Sox take on the Indians at 7:10. Still plenty more to come this morning on the road show. We're grilling outside. Don't forget you can find the recipe at WPRI.com and cook along with us. We'll be right back.